Here is the setup for our soda can steam engine. As you can see, we have the soda can suspended from above by a thin string attached to the unopened soda tap. We poke two holes on opposite sides of the can and bend the holes to be tangent to the can. The four simple candles provide enough heat to boil the water. And note that this video started after approximately five minutes of heating the can. As the water boils, the steam exits the can through the small pinholes. The size, location, and orientation of the holes are such that the steam exits at a very fast rate. The change in area makes the holes act as a nozzle, resulting in a fast exit velocity. And, since the holes are on opposite sides of the can, they each create a moment, and thus a torque, causing the can to rotate. This simple principle is also how sprinkler systems operate, and applied to a soda can, it makes for a very fun and interesting fluids experiment.